Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well this morning over on Ham Radio Guy's channel I saw a video where he talked about improving the performance of a rubber duck style antenna on your HT by adding a counterpoise. A piece of, uh, of wire. He said about 19 inches long with a little eyelet in the end that he would put on the uh, antenna as a connection. I'll show you how it works and then we'll talk about it. Slip that on. Put your antenna back on. And now you have a uh, tiger tail or rat tail or counterpoise uh, wire hanging off the back of your HT. It doesn't really get in the way. It uh, loops over the top of your hand. It stays out of the way. Um, it can go off to the side and not interfere with your uh, belt clip. So uh, physically it does work. Um, but what he didn't do was he didn't uh, do any testing to really show any results. So uh, I decided to duplicate his experiment and uh, do a little testing. So what I've got is the MFJ dual band 1715 uh, Super Duck. It's a thin duck antenna has a densely wound uh, coil up to about this point for 440 and then a longer wire that comes out to the end for two meters. Um, and I used my uh, my old MFJ analyzer here and uh, we'll do some measurements on the duck with and uh, without the uh, counterpoise. And then um, I did a practical test. We'll talk about that in a moment. But first off, let's uh, hook up the analyzer and let's have a look at the performance on the, uh, on the duck. Okay, this is just with the rubber duck. No counterpoise. And, uh, well, you can see that hand capacitance affects the SWR a bit. But we'll, uh, we'll see that the duck actually dips around 151 megahertz. And when we get down into 2 meters, the SWR comes up a bit. They're at around 146, so I'm seeing 1.5 to 1 with hand capacitance, without it, almost 2 to 1. So the duck uh, isn't really centered too well anyway, but uh, there's a lot of factors that can affect that. Since we don't have a good earth or counterpoise, hand capacitance, um, metal objects in and around the antenna itself will affect performance. But, you know, you get a general idea. SWR is a little bit high. So now I'm going to put on the, uh, the counterpoise and uh, we'll see if it makes a difference. And uh, yeah, it makes a difference. As you can see, we're down to 1.2 to 1 in the middle of 2 meters. And, uh, yeah, it dips around 145. So, yeah, that, uh, that's a pretty good improvement um, with a counterpoise wire connected at the antenna. Uh, quite a bit lower SWR, so it should improve the performance of the uh, radio um, fairly well when you're out and about. Uh, let's see here. Um, show you a bit more detail on this. I used a... where am I? Here we go. Come on, focus. Focus. Well, you can see it's a, a ground lug, lock washer style ground lug. The reason I use that is because these little gaps in here allow it to uh, fit over the pins on the BNC connector and uh, make it, it's a little fiddly, but it's not too bad. You can get it on there. There, there we go. Fits down on there. And then when I put the uh, BNC connector on, that 
there we go, crimps it down there good and tight so we got a good electrical connection. I experimented with wire length and uh, I found that about 19 and a half to 20 inches of, uh, of wire was just about right to get it, uh, this duck into the center of two meters. It would probably vary with uh, your particular rubber duck, but um, uh, for the, in the case of this MFJ uh, 1715, I saw the best at about 19 and a half to uh, almost 20 inches, eh, about 19 and three quarters. Now, as far as real world performance, I didn't tape this, um, but uh, what I did was for a signal source, I uh, put an old Radio Shack HTX 202 into a dummy load and uh, and a half a watt, and I locked it on transmit with the uh, radio in my house, and then I took the uh, HT little Baofeng HT with just the rubber duck, and I rapidly walked down the street. And I got about a block away and I started to have some picket fencing and whooshing. And by two blocks away the uh, signal was barely there. So then I put on the counterpoise. And uh, I was still two blocks away. And with the counterpoise on it was full quieting. And I started walking and I got almost three blocks away before I had any picket fencing or whooshing sounds. So there was indeed a dramatic improvement in reception with the counterpoise. And since we know the SWR is lower, uh, it's going to be easier on the radio and transmission should be better. So uh, hitting uh, repeaters should be a lot easier with a little rat tail counterpoise hanging off your HT. And as I said, it, it loops out of beyond your hand. It's not really terribly inconvenient. So uh, I'd say uh, that idea is a big win. If you want to try it, um, give it a shot. I think you'll find that uh, it will improve your... Uh, pedestrian mobile uh, experience with your HT. And I've uh, linked uh, Ham Radio Guy's original video down in the uh, description. Feel free to visit his. He uh, did a little bit higher quality look at uh, at building it. Um, uh, anyway, I just wanted to do the testing. So, thanks for watching, 73, and uh, if uh, you enjoyed the video, please uh, share. It, uh, it helps. Thanks. Bye-bye.